All mission control officers and launch site monitors, prepare for launch operations. Flight technician, please reset all mission control stations. All stations reset. Mission control operations have begun for the Mercury teams. All team members, acknowledge your presence when called. Launch director. Present and ready. Marine safety officer. Present and ready. Air safety officer. Present and ready. Ground safety officer. Present and ready. Pad safety officer. Present and ready. Weather safety officer. Present and ready. Tracking officer. Present and ready. Public affairs officer. Present and ready. Flight technician. Present and ready. Roll call has been completed. All mission control stations check with field operations and update your station status. All stations prepare for a status check. Launch director status. Launch director is go. Weather status. Wind direction is 16 north at a magnitude of 16 miles per hour. Cloud base is at 5,500 feet above ground level. Weather is go. Marine safety status. Dr. Dan's recovery vessels are in position for recovery. All other vessels are clear of the harbor and river. Marine safety is go. Air safety status. Civil air control ha has control of the airspace surrounding the launch area. No aircraft is in the vicinity of the launch site. Air safety is a go. Ground safety status. Security has maintained control of the ground surrounding the launch area. No unauthorized parties are in the launch area. Ground safety is go. Pad safety status. All students, advisors, and pad managers have left the launch pad area. The pads are clear of all personnel. Pad safety is go. Tracking safety status. Recovery vessels are alert and in position. Tracking parties are in place on both land and water. Tracking safety is a go. Launch director, hold the countdown at T minus 30 seconds. Roger. Our first team to launch today is the filtration station from Kewaskum High School. They are launching a class two rocket from a K535 motor. Their payload consists of a water purification system. The intent of the system is to convert polluted wastewater into that of a less concentrated nature. This can be used to provide the water needed for plant life in space or coolant for spacecraft systems. Launch director, all stations are go. Begin the countdown to launch. T minus 30 seconds and counting. T minus 20 seconds and counting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition. Um. <laughs> Something gonna happen? Uh. All right, successful launch of Kewaskum High School Team 301.
All right, that was the first launch of the day. The launch control operations are going to make some adjustments on the pads, and we'll be right back to launch operations in just a minute. Reminder, Gemini 945, you can start prepping your rockets if you're not there. 945, Gemini. Our second team to launch today is Team 311, Cool Beans from Greenfield High School. They are launching a Class 2 rocket on a K535 motor. Their payload is determining if space flight affects the growth of a bean plant. In their payload, they placed a bean that has sprouted along with protection so that the dirt within the cup will not spill. For protection, they place bubble wrap in their payload surrounding the green bean. Launch director, all stations are go. Begin the countdown to launch. T minus 30 seconds and counting. T minus 20 seconds and counting. Ten, nine, eight, eight, eight seven, seven, six, five, five four, three, three, two, one, ignition. All right, successful launch at Greenfield High School. Good video in Mission Control. Thank you, guys. Recycle the T minus 30 hold. Our next team to launch today is Team 309 Crimson Roses from Whitefish Bay Middle School. They are a Class 2 rocket on a K535 motor. Their payload consists of a design to see if an egg will break during flight. It consists of an altimeter, a light source, and a camera to measure both altitude and capture visual data, enabling them to determine if and when the egg breaks during the flight trajectory. They believe that if it, that it will break at an apog at apogee due to the change of direction. Launch director, all stations are go for launch. Begin the countdown. T minus thirty seconds and counting. Seconds and counting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
Successful launch of Whitefish Beam in a school, the Crimson Roses. Our next team to launch today is Team Aerocam from Madison West High School. They are launching a Class 2 rocket on a K-535 motor. Their payload is attempting to better understand dispersal properties of aerosols for offsetting global warming, and they have designed a capture system to analyze sunlight's reflection efficiency. Their payload consists of a MPU, 6050 IMU and a 4K camera. When the rocket launches, the accelerometer will detect the acceleration forces of the launch and the microcontroller will trigger the camera to start recording. After the flight, certain frames will be isolated from the camera's recording, which will be used to evaluate the results. Launch director, all stations are go. Begin the countdown to launch. T minus 30 seconds and count in. T minus 20 seconds and counting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition.
All right, beautiful launch of Madison West Aerocam. This will conclude launch operations for the Mercury teams.